Good evening, arriving yogis. I got to get my other camera angle set up, but I just wanted to check in and say hi because there's so many of you. I see Polly Wog, my favorite student of all. There he is. Yay, Polly Wog. He is the man. I love Polly Wogs. Good to see you. We have we have humans from under three years old to somewhat older than that. Everybody's welcome. By the way, welcome if you're streaming in on YouTube. There's lots of ways to get in. The main thing is, is that you're in. Relax on your back on this hot day. It's cooling yin yoga. Yin, one definition of yin is cooler yoga. I'm going to play with my camera angle, see if I can fix it. Big hug to all my friends. Relax. Take a load off. Easy does it. <clears throat> Maybe Pollywog would do a downward facing dog for us. Maybe. You never know. I don't know. Depends on whether he wants to do it or not. Up oh, here comes my cat. My cat loves Pollywog. Pollywog loves my cat. This is a tribe of yogis. We're good friends. We all support one another. We don't judge. We just are humans trying to do a little yoga. There's my cat. He's hiding underneath the thing. Anyway, I'm going to try to fix my camera angle. You guys relax, okay? Close your eyes and let me see what I can do here. Wow, here comes hot. Anyway, wiggle your legs out, make a little space, a little room for your air conditioner to get inside of your limbs. Swallow once, circle your jaw around. I've got a better camera angle. I think this will help, but no concern of yours. Let your eyes roll back. Nice deep breath together. Nice turnout of friends. We're going to do some yin and a couple of cool restorative poses that I think you'll like. Good. More friends are joining in. My cat's going to knock my cup over because he's a lunatic. That's why he's named Looney. Anyway, uh, relax your bones onto the floor. Let your eyes roll back. If you remember Monday, it wasn't that long ago, we worked pretty dang hard. So we will cool our jets for at least three or four more minutes. Forgive my little logistics. I'm just trying to work some stuff out here.
Hey, welcome. We got two more minutes on the back. Relax, take a load off. We are now breathing down from our navel stem. Oh, finally, the correct camera angle. Oh, I'm relieved and relaxed. I hope you are too. Let's feel our feels for about one minute. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. Let go of this incredibly complex life for a few minutes. Otherwise, we'll get overwhelmed by it all. Good. All right. 10 minutes in. It's time to take the biggest inhale of the whole day so far. Whopping big inhale. And a big exhale. Let it go. We are calm and empty souls. Empty in the positive sense. Good, let's wiggle our fingers and toes, get some new life going through us. Arms up to the ceiling, stretch your arms up over your head. Good, draw your knees in, roll around on your back a little bit. Such a good way to start, you gotta start somewhere. The main thing is, is that we start, of course. Other way with those knees, please. Okay, let's light this rocket, shall we? Tonight we'll call it a candle, in fact. Happy Wednesday to all my Zoom friends, great turnout. Wow, what a nice turnout for midsummer. You know, there's so many things to do and Yet you guys continue to show your tapas, your sustained, determined action over a long period of time. It's the key to success at anything. Also, welcome if you're live streaming or watching a recording. Close your eyes. We'll stack up our spine. If you're not familiar with yin yoga, you will be by the end of this class. Yin yoga is sweeping the planet. It's only been around for eh, 6,000 years. Maybe even drop your chin, relax the back of your neck and relax those shoulders, which are always hunched up. And for just a moment, an inner willingness to let go of the struggle, the fight, pushing that rock endlessly up the hill only to have it roll back down and get us. So that's the myth of Sisyphus. Instead, let's allow spiritual gravity to gently draw us upward. Physical gravity pulls us down. Spiritual gravity it pulls us up. But you have to find that. Just breathe. If you're thinking, stop. There's a particular bliss that comes when the incessant caterwauling of the mind is Calm. Am I going to make us meditate for the whole class? 
Maybe. Now I invite you to think the following, then we'd all be thinking it at the same time, which is incredibly powerful. And the thought is, everything is always working out for us. Everything is always working out for us in the ways that I see in the infinite ways that I cannot. It's hard to see sometimes, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. Okay, we'll chant Om and then we'll start some movement and some groovement. Big inhale. Om. Yoga prayer hands. Tonight's little invocation, God, love, source, spirit, infinite, higher, organizing, whatever. Bless us with that essential connection that makes life the bliss, joy, and happiness that it's meant to be. Good, now lace these self-same hands and drag your thumbs down the side of your throat eight times, the widest part of your throat, not your carotid artery, unless you want to have an altered experience. Five, six, seven, et. Take your thumbs underneath the corner of your jaw, relax your face into your octopus hands, massage under your kind of warm and sweaty neck there. Dig in provocatively deep. Unless you're new, then it's like, what the, what the hell is this? If you're new, you won't be for long if you just keep coming. Good. All right, sufficient. Take your right fingertips, back left corner of your head, and tilt the control center to the right, the so-called control center. Do you ever feel like you're in control of everything? Not just your life, but... Of course, everybody else's life, because if they would just do it the way that I want, everything would work out perfectly. Of course, they're thinking the same thing. Drop your chin. No wonder things get complicated. A bunch of small personal gods running around. Kind of nice to take your time, isn't it? Good. And then we'll click our head back into square one. Speaking of the square, tilt it to the left. As it tilts, drop your chin as well. Relax your shoulders. Do close your eyes and relax your mouth. If you accidentally start drooling, nobody's going to judge you. This is the don't judge other people class. Very much. So at Todd's house, you can see the sunlight coming in through the window. So let's see how that lasts, how long that lasts, probably till about mid-August. Good. Do you feel it releasing a little more? Do you feel, do you feel? It's okay to feel. They're just feelings. They pass by. Good. Draw your head back up. And... Tonight, we're just going to do four neck rolls at half speed. One, two, three, four, otra dirección, uno, dui, try. Good and blessed falling asleep in public on Bart pose. It's not that hard to fall asleep when you're sitting, you know. I'm sure we've all done it. And 
We're breathing along the back of our throat. We're moving into our bodies. When it comes time to rush and go faster, I'll let you know. Good enough tonight, we're gonna to do real shoulder shrugs, not the watered down version. And I know that makes the veterans very happy. So beat your Athenar eminences together. This is an important little pressure point. Just by doing this, it cures all diseases and makes aging go backwards. That's what it says in the ancient yoga scriptures. Okay, then you take these guys. We're raising the roof, you guys. Yeah, raising that roof. Now we're, we're pushing the floor down. And then we're going to go left and right and squish down here. We might say something like squish, squish. Now, of course, your wrists are getting squished. Your hips are getting punctured and your, your stuff is getting stuffed. Good. Now I'm going forward up. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, right. I'm going forward up over around and back one. Two. Now, the key is, is to push down when you go over the top. If you don't like it, too bad. Five, six. It's hard if you got really long arms, if you're one of those people that has multiple elbows. Seven. Good. Now, this is called anti levitating because if you do yoga long enough, you start floating around. This holds you down. Drop your chin, lean forward, and push strongly into your hip joint. It's the strongest joint of your body. If it gives way during this, we probably should uh, get that fixed. Good. Now, opposite flexion of your wrists, this, this is called vultures, vulture capitalists, two piece of carry on limit. Good. Now, upside down smushing, smush, smush. And I know what you're thinking, because in you can read yoga, you can read minds after you do some yoga, you're thinking, this does feel good. What is it about these movements, you're thinking? And then you go back up over and around, one, two. Now, if you're new, you can't really push down and go over the top at the same time, because you're new. Like when I pick up my guitar or get on the piano or the drums, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I can't do, but, but I still try. Six, seven. No, I just want to be excellent at things right at the start. That's called perfectionism. Good. Now I'm going to push down, drop my chin, close my eyes, smash my wrists, lean forward, make ujjayi breathing. That's 11 different things, none of which I have to think about. Good. And we'll get our paws out of there, they'll go flinging, -ing -ing -ing. they magically float to the top, top of the cat tree and out behind your back. Poof. It'd be interesting to trace this movement. Like if you watch a golf tournament, when they hit the golf ball, you can see it with a big purple stripe. So imagine a tracer how pretty this movement is. Either that or just have a flashback from what you did in the 70s. You'll see tracers. One more. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Up your back, behind your neck. And poo. Ooh. Good. Plop. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. This is lubrication. All engines and motors need lubrication. So that's why oil became so popular in the 19th century. They invented motors and they don't work so good if you don't put oil on them. So roly poly guacamole your wrists. Good, then shake the oil off. Flippy flops. 
up until about 1840, oil was an irritating thing they would find in the ground. It was like, gosh darn it, this ground has oil in it. That all changed rather quickly. There's a good spiritual metaphor. We have oil inside of us that's waiting to be tapped. But right now it's like, ah, ah, that's just a waste of my time. Really fast. Cup your hands at your heart and pray to tap that inner reserve of bliss and ecstasy that's waiting to skyrocket to the top. Very similar to the those movies where the guys in Texas hit the mother load and it comes splashing out and they're all happy. You have a moment like that in your future beyond your wildest dreams. Good, now lace these self-same hands and let's push up a sky because this guy is the limit. Good, now medium cat bed, one third of the way up, two thirds, and then top cat bed, almost, almost. Good, but sit, push down as well with your behind. Hi, Pollywog, good to see you. I can't go that long without seeing him. It just drives me out of my mind. I'm going to join his fan book page. Turn to the right, relax your left hand down to your right knee and turn to the right. Close your eyes and get a nice twist. I think I told you about, I was listening to a rock star the other day and he said, if I knew how fun grandchildren were, I would have had them first. Of course, your regular children aren't necessarily happy to hear that, but they're not happy to hear anything. Inhale here and release. Running commentary to make you lose your mind. Switch the cross of your pins. Hey, what's this over here? What is that? What do you think's gonna happen over there? That's called floor shadowing. Now, lace one finger over, cup your hands at your Buddha belly, drop your chin and close your eyes and contemplate your navel. Our navel is the center of our body, right? We used to have a pipeline connected there and we'd get all of our goods and services through that pipeline. So contemplate your original channel. Nature's pretty clever. Now we have a spiritual channel that we should find. Good, inhale, pause up, turn them over at your throat. Stretch up to top cat bed. Good, let's do some of these. These are called woggly togglies. Tuck your shirt in a little too tight. Okay, turn extra left, 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 right hand, left knee. And from the bottom up, candy cane your spine to the left, shoulders relaxed, chin level. If you came tonight to do the super hard, drive you out of your mind yoga, send me a text and I'll send you back some ideas. Even with your eyes closed, turn your peripheral vision further to the left. There are little muscles in our neck that respond to eye movements. Inhale here and come out kitty cats. Good. <clears throat> This is the class where you can give time, time, stretch your legs out. I remember when I first learned Don Dawson a pose. It was probably, I have always done it, but I never knew the name of it until the year 2000. And it's, I was like, wow, there's actually a name for sitting up really tall and extending your legs out and rooting the underseam of your legs into the earth and spanning your toes open and extending your arms up and turning your palms up and relaxing your shoulders. And they reduced all that down to the name Don Dasana. I thought they were saying Don Natsana, the guy who was on Mayberry RFD. Lean forward a little bit. Some people can straighten their legs so much that their heels lift. That's called hyperextension. 
It's okay to do it as long as you're seated. I wouldn't do it standing. Sit up taller. Knuckles on your head. Bend your knees three inches and lean as far forward as you can, holding your knees together. If you had a wicked forward fold, you could come all the way down. <clears throat> Squeeze your knees and inner ankle bones together. Stretch your toes out wicked wide. Inhale. Exhale, straighten and push all the way up. Good, now relax your paws down. We're gonna counter pose. We're gonna do champagne bottoms and caviar rears. This is the champagne of yoga poses here because your behind feels carbonated and effervescent as you lift up. Nothing like an effervescent behind. Head back. Stretch up, you guys. Good. Come on down. Extend lefty leg out. Cross righty ankle over. Fold lefty shin under unless you can't. If you can't do something, then um, fake it. Crack your toes one at a time. One, ow, gosh dang. Two, three, four, one out of five. Good, now goof around with your toes. Twist them, pull them, yank them, rend them, tear them. Get any gunk out. Okay, here come the four jet planes and in the hangers they go from the top down, uh, you might say. Speaking of lubrication, this is good time. Now, very strongly grab the middle of your right shin and calf and really turn it, really turn it. This is, this is more than ankle. This is to reduce mental and emotional tension that builds up in our feet and ankles. If you don't think mental tension builds up in our feet and ankles, you got another thing coming other way. Six, seven, eight. Good. Now we're going to balance the hemispheres of our brain by strongly squeezing our right toes into our left fingers. If you're a karate person, you could easily snap those little bones not that strong splay your left toes open do you get it squeeze splay yang yin right hand at your heart the sound of one hand praying drop your chin and submit your mortal self to your infinite self well why would i want to do that um to gain immeasurable benefits bliss love and joy squeeze and splay good now extract your hand out of this mess plork inhale grab your elbows do you see the see how our arms and legs are kind of doing the same thing then go like this I've seen people, they can pull their arm all the way sideways behind their head. It looks kind of uh, disturbing. So whatever. Here's how stiff people do it. Watch this. This is how stiff people do it. <laughs> Just your arms, you guys. Okay. Just your arms. I'm not making, well, actually, I am making fun of you. Arms up, arms out, arms forward. Pull in and scrape your side. This is for calm and peacefulness. Inhale. Maybe you're already fully calm and peaceful person. Well, thanks for coming anyway. Around the front. Pull in. I like the scraping the side part. It gets the barnacles off. Good. Now we're going to pause with our palms open at our side. We're going to drop our chin and close our eyes. We might say something like, I'm a calm and peaceful soul. Even with rampaging grandchildren, rampaging kids, rampaging job, 
I am the eye of the hurricane. Push out through palmar flex wrists. Go out like this. Swirculate back here. Brush. If you start getting really happy or mildly euphoric in the midst of this, then it's working. Good. Good, and up yonder, out hither. Big hands for big hugs, right arm under. And then ups and downs and lefties and righties. If you like circles or ovals better, that's good. If you need to make a square, a triangle, whatever kind of grinds your gears back there. I don't know how people just don't do this. Now elbows and chest as far to the right as you can go without ripping your arms off. Your face as far to the left as it can go. Tilt your head to the left, drop your chin. This cultivates Chitta Vritti Narodaha. In yoga, that means the cessation of the constant caterwauling of our craniums. It's hard to listen to that nonstop all the time. No wonder people tune out with various forms of distraction. But there's a better way. Don't tune out, tune in, go through it. You're gonna to have to do it sooner or later. Good kids, now brings them back hither, release them. And if you have any forward fold at all, that's great. If you got no forward fold, we may have gotten you just in time. Drop your chin, close your eyes. Now wag your beautiful shag. Oh, my head, it's so heavy. It's filled with so many obstructions and duties and obligations. From fingertips, long spine, look forward, bright future. And 10 more seconds. One way to solve all of our problems is quit thinking about them. Friendly friends, come up. Now, let's do one half of the Lord of the Fishes twist. Here comes my cat. He likes the Lord of the Fishes twist. Yes, he does. He heard fish. Good. We'll bring our right knee in. Now I'm just going to do the mellow yin version. I'm going to wrap my left elbow in front. Oh, he likes the prop I made for the big pose we're going to do in a minute. Now I'm going to tuck my guts in, my liver, my pancreas, my gallbladder, my spleen. Yogis like to poke themselves in the guts. You should see what my teacher used to do. It was gross. Now turn to the right. If you, do, if you like wrapping your right arm behind you, do that. And now let's turn our face all the way to the left. And as you do, notice Looney Bin Laden has moved into the cat penthouse. Life is good. Good. Now, from one of my favorite poses to maybe my least favorite. Don't think I'm not doing yoga right here with you guys. Stand your right leg out. Bring your left heel into your inner parts. Pull back on your buns. Now, why don't I like this pose? Because everybody's more flexible than I am. Everybody seems to come all the way down. They look like yoga magazine models. Relax your shoulders. But after doing yoga now for, when did I start? 1976, 40, 47 years I've been doing yoga. This is as far as I can get. 
So I've learned to run my own race. If you just touch the edge of your range of motion, make friends with it, you'll achieve the blessings of yoga well done. Who cares where other people go? That's their trip. Now, wherever your hands are, lift your hands and jigulate them and use big muscles if you're going to go any further. Remain soft on the inside, firm on the outside. Pull your toes in a little bit without grabbing them. And inhale and come on up. Oh, that's a nice way to do that pose. Why don't we get into this part pretty soon? Just hold on, hold on. Right leg is out already. Very clever of me, right? Lefty goes over, righty goes under. One of my favorites. Krakatoa, east of Java. One, two, Three, one, I got one, and five. If I can get one of my toes to crack, next lifetime, I'm going to have the bendiest toes. Now, goof around with your toes. Twist them and stretch them and bend them and get any gunk out, especially that middle toe, that third one that doesn't even have a name, anonymous feral toe unloved abandoned orphan toe now here come the four jet planes of your fingers and they slide right into the hangers Ugh. some people have delicate skinny little fingers and happy little toes and some of us not so much okay now this is your eagle talon you're very eagerly talented this grabs and crank a doodle delic I know my cat's very relaxed when he starts to have a cat bath. And I got to tell you, he's a boy cat and he really needs it. Sometimes he looks at me and says, so do you, bro. Other way, one, two, three. I can't remember the last time I had a guy cat. I didn't know this was a guy cat. Todd and Jennifer lied to me. They said it was a girl cat because they knew I probably wouldn't have taken a boy cat. But then we made a remarkable discovery, two of them, in fact. Okay, now squeeze your fingers, your toes into your fingers as hard as you can. Stretch your toes open really wide. The sound of one hand praying at your heart. Drop your chin and be unusually happy for no reason. When you can do that, you've won the game of life. If happiness is only contingent upon the proper arrangements of the deck chairs on the Titanic, not so much fun. Squeeze, squeeze, play, play, balance your corpus callosum. Good, release out of that, you guys. Very nice. Extract your hands out. Uh. Inhale, yokes. Outhale. Now grab your elbows, but switch it the weird feeling way. Whose arms are these? Bring them up. If your arms stop here, I think we may have caught you just in time. There's still hope for everybody in yoga. Side to side. Remember, it's the arms, it's not the whole thing. I did so much yoga in my younger years, and I, I took about 10 years off to lose my mind and my mid thirties. And then I started again under a strong teacher and he goes, you know, Greg, there's some hope for you. Not much, but just do some of this. Good. All right. Now bring your arms down, release them, inhales them up. Out. Up your back behind your neck. Poof. Arms forward, palms up to receive alms. Pull good stuff into you. And then 
pay it backward, <laughs> round to the front, pull it in and pay it backward. Uno mas. But this time we'll pause with our paws at our side. Now we'll do yoga mudra if you're in the mudra. Thumbs in your fist. This does magical things that we won't know for a little while. Push out with your paws. Go out, circulate back, way back here, and pay it forward. Oof. Arms out, circle back, and brush, and up, super wide, double wide, big hands for open hands, left arm under, good and just grind your gears, make them shoulder blades go up and down and left and right and in and out. And maybe you got to crunch it. But this is where old memories and traumas and psychic scars and wounds go to hide because they think you can't find them back there. But yoga can find everything. <sighs> OK, now chest and elbows as far to the left as you can make them go. Face as far to the right as you can make it go. Tilt your head to the right like person that's doing that. Drop your chin. Yoga chitta vritti narodaha. Yoga is the calming of the turbulence of my heart mind. It kind of makes sense if our mind is really turbulent that it acts as a firewall between soul and spirit. We can't hear that still small voice. Good. Well, brings it back to the center. We'll release thy arms. Up you go. Good. Then and out. Then up our back for one of those long ohms that makes us feel mildly euphoric. Inhale. Belt it out, Ethel Merman. Ethel Mermaid. Oh. Okay. And a moment of feeling receptive, open, available, willing, not resistant, but open. The universe has so many gifts to give us if we're if they would just fit inside of us. This is very true. Good. Now the the reason the cat came in, the fish pose, the knee comes in. Now, if you're one of those crazy flexible people, you want to, yeah, blah, do that. But I'm just going to do the hermetically seal my right knee, my left knee in. Now I'm going to poke my left liver in, my left spleen, and my left gallbladder. This is why I did not graduate from medical school. Good now. See my horrible posture? Do you see this? Didn't that look horrible? Ah, now turn left with your long spine and your broad shoulders and your relaxed base. Seal that left foot into the floor. If you're enamored of taking your left arm behind your back and tucking it inside your right thigh, because you have those long arms with multiple elbows, go ahead. And with your eyes closed, turn your eyes to the left and stop thinking. This pose is a hieroglyph. It's a tuning fork. It's a organic physical prayer. That may not make sense, but a lot of the good stuff in life doesn't really make sense. Good. Now unhook your elbow and 
Let's re recenter. Good. Now open your feet like a really titillating Harlequin romance novel. Kind of open them up really wide. Do you have the kind of feet that you can turn inside out and sideways? And massage deeply into the middle center bottom of your feet. I have not read a Harlequin romance novel ever. Good, now push your thumb through your feet. Inhale, look forward high. And come on down. Now as you come down, your pelvis tilting forward will pry your thigh bones out to the side. That's a given. But you could actually engage your inner thighs and kind of widen your knees out proactively. Good kids, come out of that. Now I almost forgot it and I know why. We're gonna extend our left leg out. You guys forgot to admit it. Extend your left leg out. I've forgotten a lot of yoga. <clears throat> now see all these muscles, see this beautiful leg that's just like, wow, that's gorgeous. But it's so strong and it has so many muscles that the bottom part doesn't come all the way down. That's okay. Lean over your left leg, relax your shoulders, keep the curves of your spine. And if you're one of those irritating, really flexible people, just have mercy on us. Find about five or six on the sensation scale, not 11 not zero, and breathe into that inner face. It's in your face. Now lift your hands and just use big muscles. Toes pull in. Firm toes, soft nose. This is the class for the non-circus performers and non-gymnasts. In other words, about 98% of the planet. Come on up, kids. Now, do you think I went through all the trouble of building this and I'm not going to use it? You're right. So this is the hardest pose for all yogis. If you're live streaming and you don't like this, there's a trillion other YouTube things that you could watch. But I suggest... You build something and so that you can kneel and that you can lean back. Now you might say, hey, Mr. Yoga teacher, that's a pretty pathetic rendition of that pose, to which I would just chuckle to myself and say, it feels so good. Now, I've got friends who can kneel and lean all the way back with no stuff at all. They never couldn't do it. So if you're one of those people, just lay on your back in pinup pose. If you need a couple pillows, that's good. If you need the side of your couch, if you need a crane. But if we lose this range of motion in our body, we're screwed. So we got to be able to kneel at least a little bit and lean back somewhat. And we're going to take it in small bites. And you can build something as large and egregious and preposterous as I've built. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in about mm, two or three minutes. Now you bendy bears that I'm so jealous of, maybe your arms go up over your head because it's like, oh, it just feels so good. If you can't do it at all, sorry, you're just gonna have to figure something out. I can't do everything for you.
I'm not that codependent. Used to be. If you love this pose, really love it, really enjoy it. Okay, I'm sinking into mine. I'm, I've gotten through a couple layers of concrete and now stuff's starting to open up, starting to get my happy on. I can breathe now. I couldn't breathe for the first minute or so. Good, we're halfway in, so there's um, halfway more to go. If you need to get out, that's up, that's up to you. You employ your own wisdom and common sense. Yoga builds wisdom and common sense. Okay, I feel like I'm going to get my arms up now. Now, for the last minute or so, direct your breathing to your navel stem. Make a meditation out of the rise and fall of your belly button. Bonus relaxing minute, since it took so long to build this.
Okay, kids, we're nearing the top of the hour, as they say in the news business. So let's sit up so that we're just kneeling together, okay? For a lot of people, kneeling is a wonderful meditation pose. I would never do it, but I know some people like it. Myself and my cat are feeling super relaxed. What's the one thing you have to do after you've been kneeling and leaning back? Well, it's rather obvious. You need to stretch your legs out and get the dent out, right? Only makes sense. Oof. Now, when you're in that pose, you never want to do a forward fold directly after. So I'm just saying straighten your legs out. I'm not saying lean forward. My number one rule is don't kill the clientele. It's horrible for business. That's why I had a thriving yoga studio in the San Ramon Valley for a long time. Thanks to you guys. Okay, now we got a wonderful thing to do at the end. You're really gonna like it, but we're gonna transition via Gatos y Vacas, por favor. Ah, yes, the Yoga Fusion, circa 2011, 2020, 10 glorious years. Life changes, though, doesn't it? New adventures, things we would never initiate on our own, right? God goes, I've got some ideas for you, but I'm going to have to break your stuff up for you. Two more. Good, kids. And now we'll finish in a restorative twist. Yay. So I'm going to have to borrow from this eighth wonder of the world that I built over here. <laughs> this takes about 20 minutes for me to build. Bolster. Turn your knees to the left. Pull the bolster into your greater trochanter. If you don't know what that is, it's the outside of your hip. Put your right hand on the bolster. Pat, pat, butter cat. Fold your knees and ankles behind you. Cross your ankles and pull your heels into your bottom in mermaid pose. Now push all 10 fingertips into your bolster and lean back as far as you can. And then just lean back, oh, crack. I got some nice crack on that one. Good, my right hand goes over here. My bolster goes to one o'clock. Then I turn my belly button jewelry down and Bendies, you go to your left ear. Stiffies, you go to your right ear. Spread your elbows out. And... Oh, so much different than Monday yoga. You can't be yanging it all the time. You got to yin sometimes. So I'm golfing tomorrow with my buddy Todd. So I'm going to come up and take my bolster 15 more minutes to the right. Now I am going to go to my left ear because I am a yoga teacher and this is optional. Pretty soon going to be golfing with Jennifer too. By the way, if you ever need a golf lesson for cheap, I'm your guy. Don't you love this one? 
Now, if you were silly and went to your left ear, go back to your right ear. Big inhale. Big outhale. Good, then pull your hands into the side of your side. I suggest to come out in molasses like slow motion. Mmm, molasses, sugar. I remember sugar. It tasted so good. Okay, then we're going to take the bolster back over. Who knew sugar was poison, you guys? Those damn marketers in the 50s making sugary cereals. All right, back to square one. Okay, now take your knees all the way over to the right. Now pull the bolster into your greater trochanter of your left hip. Left hand on your butter pat. Fold your knees and ankles smartly behind you. Cross ankles. Pulls heels into your bottom like a mermaid. Now 10 fingertips and lean way back. A little further back. I forgot the name of this, your transverse, these guys. Now take the bolster over to 11 o'clock. And our initial salvo will be right ear for bendies, left ear for stiffies. If you can't breathe, that's not a good sign. And then as you get gooder and gooder, your elbows go wider and wider. Night, night. Okay, now fully optional if you're golfing tomorrow, you can come up and take your bolster 15 more minutes to the left. Yeah. And then croissant donut pose. Okay, if you went to your right ear, go back a left ear. Big inhale. Release your whole life on exhale. Pull your mitts in. Come out slowly. Uh. Might be the best class I've ever taught in my life. <laughs> Is that okay to think that? Shouldn't what you're doing right now be the best thing you've ever produced in your life? I don't know. Good, now this is for my head. This is for my knees. That's for my feet. And we're gonna do a long, super quiet, not bothered by Greg Shavasana together. Oh, that is. Good. Jiggle your parts. I'm proud of you guys. And seven minutes of non bothering bliss.
Okay, beautiful friends, stay nice and relaxed. Here's that guy's voice from miles away. Just a gentle clarion call, just to begin to come back a little. When you're way outside the solar system, it takes a while to get back. And while we're nice and relaxed and blended, if you consider yourself a spiritual person, you might want to invite God, love, source, infinite, higher organizing power in whatever name you like to give to the infinite. Just that nice, open hearted, wholehearted invitation. God loves to play with his kids, just like you do. Good, then we might wiggle our fingers and toes and circulate extra super feel God through ourselves. When you're ready at your pace, curl onto right side. Please take your time. Cultivate the nice serenity and bliss you've built up. Good. Next in the ritual is with our eyes closed to sit up, trusting we can sit up with our eyes closed. We have that sense of center and trust of the earth that we can sit up staying on the inside. And our behinds fit better on the floor. Our spines are taller. Our shoulders are unbuttoned and relaxed. Anjali Mudra prayer hands that send attention inward and we'll humble our heads to our hearts and we'll go to that field where we all meet together. So much love there, so much healing, so much connection. We're just scratching the surface, kids. And all together we say, Namas Wednesday. First, thanks if you live streamed or are watching this on YouTube recorded, please like and subscribe. I beg you, I've got to get to a million subscribers.